In this video, let's look at Orpheus text-to-speech, which is an open source text-to-speech system built on the Llama 3 backbone. This is from Canopy AI. So let's try out a collab notebook of how you can generate speech from text using Orpheus. So Orpheus in Greek mythology is a legendary musician and poet. So what they have done over here is that they have released a fine-tuned model, okay, which is production ready for everyday text-to-speech applications. They have also released a base model, which is trained on 100K plus hours of English speech data. They claim human-like speech, natural intonation, emotion, and rhythm that is superior to state-of-art closed source models. They are claiming zero-shot voice cloning, clone voices without prior fine-tuning, guided emotion and intonation. You can control speech and emotion characteristics with simple tags, very low latency, uh, close to 200 milliseconds streaming latency for real-time applications, reducible to 100 milliseconds with input streaming. So they have this simple uh, setup on Collab for inference. So let us look at it, right? So this is actually a speech generated from this model. Let me play it. Hey there, my name is Tara. <laughs> and I'm a speech generation model that can sound like a person. So you see this chuckle, this is that emotion introduction within this speech, right? And this was the speech which was generated. Okay, so how do you do it over here? Uh, first, you need to install certain libraries, okay, like a snack um, and IPyY WebRTC. So once you initialize this particular uh, a snack model, then you actually uh, also load your Canopy Labs Orpheus 3 billion parameter fine tuned model. Okay, so that is what is done over here. Then here you have the prompt. So here, uh, you know, these are the prompts, these are the text which you need to convert it to speech. Right? And here is a chosen voice, which is Tara, which is the voice which you have heard. There are also other voices over here, which is available for you. And uh, what they're saying is that the options for name in order of conversational realism via their subjective benchmarks are these things, Tara, Leo, Jess, Leo, Dan. Okay, so let's try with Tara first over here. Now, this is a way to format the prompts into the correct template. That is what is happening over here, right? Start of human, end of human. So they kind of add these start tokens and end tokens. So that is what happens in this part of the code. And then here you are generating the output using the model. So once the output is generated, what happens over here is that you have to pass the output back as speech. That is what is happening over here. Okay. And this is the audio which has been generated. All right. So this is another uh, uh, prompt, which is like, I have also been taught to understand and produce paralinguistic things like sighing or chuckling or yawning. So let's play it. I've also been taught to understand and produce paralinguistic things like sighing or chuckling or yawning. Okay, so this particular model uh, takes close to 7 GB of GPU RAM. I'm running it on an L4 instance on Collab. I tried it with the T4 instance. There was some kind of error popping out. So now what we'll do over here is that let's change the personality type over here. Let's change the name, right? From Tara, let's make it as Dan. Okay, and instead of Tara, let me put it over here as Dan. And instead of chuckle, let's look at what other uh, expression is available over here. Let it put it, put it as laugh. Okay. And let's generate the same, uh, you know, sentences basically. So let me run this again. Okay. So we have done this. We have to generate the output. So previously it took close to 36 seconds. So let's wait for the output. Right. And then we'll parse the output as speech. And then let's display the audio. So let's wait for this to complete. So it has taken close to 38 seconds to generate the audio basically, uh, basically from text to speech for the three prompts and 14 seconds for parsing the output as speech. Okay, now this is with the voice of Dan, all right? Uh, audio personality is Dan. Let's listen to it. Hey there, my name is Dan. <laughs> And I'm a speech generation model that can sound like a person. So you see by inserting this particular emotion, you can introduce emotions into your speech. So this is another I've also sample. I've been taught to understand and produce paralinguistic things like sighing or chuckling or yawning. Okay, so this was a short demo of Orpheus, which is a text-to-speech open source system, right? There is the space on uh, Hugging Face. You can try that as well. Okay, so here you have options like you know, this is an LLM option. So whereby you can say, explain the general relativity theorem in short. So LLM generates the content and then that content is converted to speech. The general theory of relativity proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915 
is a theory that describes how gravity works and relates to space time. It states that massive objects. So you can actually go and try out this particular hugging face space as well. Okay, so there are a lot of options over there uh, where you can use LLM or you can use just a speech. So you can use like this basically. Uh, this is direct text to speech, like Tara is that voice, right? Uh, and Dan is another voice. Okay, or you can do with for uh, Tara hyphen LLM at the red Dan hyphen LLM for LLM plus text to speech. So they also have a, a blog over here where they are saying that uh, they have released these following models, basically four sizes, right? Uh, the medium is three billion parameters, small is one billion parameters, tiny is 400 and nano is 150 million parameters. So these are the models which are available. Uh, and what they are saying is that uh, they also offer code to do real time streaming in very simple Python package. Streaming inference is faster on an A100. 40 GB. They offer base models along with sample fine tuning scripts, which can be used for zero shot voice cloning and your own fine tuning. Uh, they have their uh, demo. So the idea over here is that they use a pre trained model, which is a Llama 3 billion as their backbone. And they trained it over 100k hours of English speech data and billions of text tokens. Uh, this is what they are doing over here. This is the architecture of the model. Okay. And uh, they talk about how you can do uh, natural zero shot voice cloning. So some examples are present over here, right? Uh, so this is a voice. I just finished my first 5K run. I never. So this, what they say is that the model is not seen and this is zero shot actually voice cloning. With that, the output looks like this. Why is your freaking Waymo blocking the freaking? So this is from 11 Why Labs. Why is your freaking Waymo blocking the freaking road? This is from Play Why is your freaking Waymo blocking? So what they're saying is that their model compares very well. It's open source and it compares very well with closer source models like 11 Labs or Play HD. Right. Uh, so this is what they talk about. This is about guided uh, emotion and intonation. We saw an example of that basically. So you can introduce your emotions into emotion tags basically. Right. So here um, this statement is slow basically. So let's hear that. He qualified for the national tournament. So you can control emotions, tone and other things of your speech. Okay. Uh, this is about real time usage, which they talk about. They are saying that our model supports real time output streaming with very low latency of less than or around 200 milliseconds. Okay. Yeah. So this is their blog where they compare the results of RPS with 11 labs or say play HD. So you can check out that as well. There is a web UI for RPS text to speech from Saganaki 22. So you can try out this repository. You can deploy this and you can make use of this easy to use web interface also. So this was a short video on Orpheus text-to-speech, uh, an interesting open source text-to-speech system from Canopy AI. All the links will be in the description of the video. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.